What is this 2D glucose drug that DRDO developed and has secured the clearance for emergency use from the Drug Controller of India? What is this drug that has been the talk of the country for more than a week now? Will this save India from the oxygen crisis? And will this help in the treatment of COVID-19? Well, the short answer is S, but there is more. Is this really a game changer? Is this the miracle drug? Let's see if it is in this video. This drug was developed by Defence Research and Development Organisation of India and it is backed by Dr. Reddy's laboratories for mass production and distribution. This was earlier used in the treatment of cancer. The 2-deoxy-D glucose is cleared for use only on moderate to severe cases, not for mild ones. This comes as a powder form, just as glucose in sachet, and is advised to be taken two times a day after dissolving it in water for at least a week. With the directions of use aside, what is the science behind it? And that is what inspired me to make this video. Yes. Why otherwise would a tech channel be talking about a drug? This 2-deoxy-D glucose is actually a modified version of the glucose itself, where two oxygen atoms from the glucose structure is removed. So what happens if it enters the body? Well, our body needs energy to function efficiently. One of the major sources of energy is glucose. Glucose is oxidized in our body to produce energy. This process is called glycolysis, where as a result, pyruvate anion is produced. Because this 2D glucose mimics the actual glucose molecule, it gets easy access to the cells where the coronavirus is already present. What happens next is what the virus least expected. Unlike glucose molecule, 2D glucose molecule is unfit for glycolysis, which means it can't be oxidized to produce energy. So, there is no energy produced and the virus dies within a week due to lack of energy. But this process raises a lot of questions. And honestly, I don't have answers too. Will this affect other cells from producing energy? Will healthy cells die too? But there is nothing to worry about here since cells don't depend only on glucose to produce energy. There are other molecules like fat and proteins that also produce energy. Let's see what the clinical trials have shown. The initial experiments found that the molecule works effectively against SARS-CoV-2. The DRDO and Dr. Reddy's laboratories conducted phase 2 trials that was done on 110 patients and phase 3 trials was carried on 220 patients. They concluded that relatively higher number of patients became free from supplemental oxygen by day 3 of the dosage. It has also shown up to 35% less oxygen dependency in patients whom the 2D glucose drug was administered. And with India facing a severe oxygen crisis, this is gonna be a boon. How does this really reduce the amount of oxygen needed? According to sources, oxidation of glucose to produce energy requires huge amount of oxygen. But with 2DG, there is no need for the glucose to be oxidized, thus bringing down the oxygen requirement of the patients. The same mechanism was used against the cancer cells. This may not necessarily be a magic drug, but in this situation, this can help ease a lot of pressure on the oxygen supply and can save lives. And at the end of the day, that's what matters the most. The drug is said to be easily mass produced. This will be given only with prescriptions. Since this is not a targeted method of fighting COVID-19 in the body, this raises a lot of questions on its efficiency. But the clinical trial results seems promising. And let's hope this will be a much needed weapon in the relentless battle against COVID-19. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and share it with your friends. If you are new here, hit subscribe 
so you don't miss any of my future videos. My name is Sanosh, this is Starboy and I'll see you in the next one. And as always, keep it real.